What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here and welcome back to another unboxing video! I've had these boxes for a little bit so I wanted to um, get them unboxed for you. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2018 April Toy Box Monthly! We currently get three boxes. One is for boys, one is for girls, and one is the mixture box. The mixture box um, is no longer available if you go to purchase these boxes. They only have the girls and boys, so just kind of keep that in mind. I was grandfathered in. I don't know which box is which, but if you're interested in getting any of these boxes, I will go ahead and put them, or put the, what? I will, what is, what do I usually say? If you're interested in getting these boxes, I will go ahead and put all the pricing details in the description below for you. We are going to open up this box first and see which one we think it is. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. So it can either be the boy box, the mixture box, or the girls box. What do you guys think? Which one is it? Which one is it? I was thrown off last time, so I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna say this is the mixture box. All right, here we go. The first item we have is our Ugly Doll Mystery Packs. I'm not gonna open this one because I opened it last time. Um, I think I might just give this to my sister. My sister loves ugly dolls. I don't know why, but that's like her thing. So this is a mystery pack. fact. This is a mystery pack that comes with two little figurines. We have a little Monster High build kit. This is a 20 piece build kit of Claudine Wolf. <laughs> Claudine Wolf. It looks like she's shopping, if I had to guess what this set is based off of. The last time we got this box, we got, we got the one I think that's like surfing or something, or snowboarding. Next we have a Tsum Tsum. Is this the, I feel like I got this exact same Tsum Tsum last time. This is a Disney Parks item. It's priced at $6. I feel like this is... Is this... This is the same one that I got last month. I see it over there. So, I think you guys said that this was something from... You guys were telling me. It's a little bit obscure. Like, something from... Uh, the Haunted Mansion or something. I don't know that for a fact, but let me know down below. So we got a Tsum Tsum. Next we have a Marvel Funko Mystery Mini. Mini Mystery Mini. Is that what it's called? Yes. This is from Captain America Civil War and it's, uh, it's the Avengers movie. I don't think I'm gonna open this only because I think I actually have a lot of these from this set. Should I open it? Should we open it? Okay, let's open it. There's a chance to get Hawkeye, and for me, like, I feel like that's worth it. I think I might even already have Hawkeye, but we're gonna open it anyways. So this is a Funko Mystery Mini from Captain America Civil War. What do you guys think that we got? Let's make some guesses. Who do you guys think about? It's light, just so you guys know. So, actually, I don't know which ones of these would be potentially heavy, but I'm gonna hope that we have Hawkeye, but, or, or, oh, Black Panther. We'll know more once we open this, because then we can feel around. So let's go ahead and open this box. Okay, did you guys make your guesses? What did you guess? What did you guess? I'm not good at opening these boxes, ever. Okay. Okay, we didn't get... Ah! No! Guys, no! Ah! Can you guess who we got? Ugh, so annoying. Jeez. Ugh. Really? Really? I feel like his shield's a little bit disproportional to his body, but really? We got Captain America? We're not starting that again, are we? Do you guys remember when I used to always, like, I don't like Captain America, but remember when I used to always get Captain America stuff and I was always like, oh no! That's how I feel right now. Like, no, not the Captain America stuff, no. Okay, he's going to be put back in the box that will go in the giveaway. Next, we have a Hot Wheels car. This is the Justice League series. The last time we got Aquaman, this time we got Superman, which is very cool. I actually like this one. I like the Aquaman colors, but I like this car better because I'm a bigger fan of Superman. So that's cool. That's from Justice League. And then the last time we got is Princess Little Kingdom. This is Merida's Playful Adventure. I actually really... I'm excited that we got this, specifically because last time I got one of these last month and I wanted to give it to my goddaughter, but I felt bad because there was only one. And so now I'm gonna have two. I forgot the other one I got was like Cinderella or something. So I'm gonna be able to give each one of those, one of these, which is cool. Okay, so that's the first box. Let me get my calculator. 
and let's do some quick price and recap. I haven't been doing a good job of pricing in general, so I'm just gonna try my best. Mystery Mini, we usually give those $6. The Ugly Doll, collectible things, I think you can give that $3, the mystery. Um, Tsum Tsums usually get $5. I know it's priced at $5.95 for the Disney parks, but I'm gonna say $5, but it might even be cheaper because sometimes with the Disney park items, they have that store next to the parks that are like the clearance stuff. The Monster High Build Kit, I'd probably give this maybe $4 at most. That's kind of a lot. The Justice League car, I think you could easily give this 2 to $3. Um, I don't remember how much we priced it last time. Why don't we go ahead and give it $2.50? No, $3? $3. $2.99? We'll do $3. And the last one we had is Merida's Disney Princess Little Kingdom. I actually really like this. I think you can easily give this $5. Probably a little bit more. I wouldn't be surprised if that was like $6, but we'll give it 5 So according to my pricing, this box is worth $26. That's actually a really, really good price point and it's actually good because last month the mixture box actually didn't do very well. I liked the items last month but I didn't do well. This month I like the items and I like the value so that's really good. I might have priced that a little, I mean maybe a couple dollars higher but nothing too crazy. Box number two, so this is either going to be the boys box or the girls box once you cut the tape and you open up the box. This is what you're going to see. Boys box or girls box, what do you think? Alright, I'm going with the girls box, here we go. First time we have is another Disney Parks Tsum Tsum. Is this the... I... I don't know. I... This guy looks like the guy from like Alice in Wonderland, but I also feel like I have a terrible judgment sometimes with Tsum Tsums and what they're supposed to be of, to be honest, but that's a Tsum Tsum, very nice. We got... Um, oh, a flip -a zoo Mystery. I actually bought a ton of these because they they were intriguing. They actually make stuffed animals like this, and I found them in my car. And so I haven't opened them or anything. But let's go ahead and open this because I actually want to see what this thing looks like. Um, it's apparently something where you can take, it's an animal, and you can flip it, and it turns into a different animal. So these are all the ones that you can get. Um, let's show, let me show you everything, and then we'll open it. Next we have, oh, a minifigure from the Lion Guard. Oh, oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. Here it is. I haven't seen this. This is from G uh, Disney Junior. Oh, there's a rare. You could get Copper Fully. We might have to open that one too. Oh no, we shouldn't open all these. We got another Ugly Dolls Mystery Pack. And then our big item in this box is a My Little Pony Equestria Girls Minis. It's Rarity. So it's like a girl that's based off of Rarity the Pony. This is really heavy. So this is actually a really heavy figure. It's very hefty. I thought it was going to be like just like a little figure, but it's it has a lot of weight to it. So it's probably her hair. Her hair looks really heavy in general. Okay, so before we do pricing, let's go ahead and open some of these. Uh, we're going to open up the line guard. I want to see if we can get the rare copper fully. Fully? Fully. How do you say that name? I don't know. I, how come they don't have Pumbaa? Is Pumbaa not in the lion guard? What the heck? I hope we get, oh no, I guess I'll know what we got actually. Okay, well we didn't, okay, wait. So, I really don't need to open this because I think I can feel around, but, and I've never seen this show, but I think we got this little, like, chipmunk thing, which is, his name is Hyrax, which he's very cute. So, I'm going to open it to see if we got him. We did! Look how cute he is! <gasps> oh, he's going to become a friend of Porgs. I'm a hundred percent or of Merlot sorry I changed his name back to Port okay so he's this little chipmunk thing I don't I don't know exactly what he's supposed to be but he is cute and he's gonna go right there okay and then we're gonna open a flip -a zoo I want to see what this is all about so I'm very excited to open this actually and there are rares and secret rares and all that like Shopkins you know okay so we got this red one it's a what is this? A red cow? It's not listed. Oh, but they give you a sheet. Oh, there's 101. Oh, wow. There's there's so many of them. Oh, I like they have like rainbow ones. That's cool. Okay, I feel like this is a red cow, which is probably common. Oh, they have a red dragon. That's cool. Why can I not find... Is this not a cow? It looks like a cow. Sorry, let me show you what this looks like while I'm looking for it. So it's this red like cow looking thing. It has yellow horns. I honestly cannot find it on this sheet. 
So let's go ahead and flip it. I don't actually know how to flip it. What do we do? So apparently it's supposed to be this animal. This is what it is first. And then you flip it. Oh, you flip it like this. And now it's an alligator, a little chunky of an alligator, but that's okay. So he's an alligator. So maybe I can find the alligator on this sheet. Then I'll know where it is. Okay, so the alligator is definitely common, but the pictures on here, like of the ones that have alligators, are the gold dragon, unicorn, red dragon, purple bear. I, like, I don't know what we got, but I think it's a common one. This is not a red dragon, right? That doesn't look like a red dragon. I don't know. Does anyone collect these? What happened? How come mine's not listed? What the heck, guys? What the heck? All right, so anyways, it's still cool. It's a cool little toy, and they, like I said, they have like big pillows I've seen, but right now it's this like red cow thing. This is not a red dragon, right? No, there's no wings. But then when you flip the skin over, it makes an alligator. That is actually very cool. I'm kind of excited. Now I might go and open all the, because I have a bunch of these mystery packs that I bought a long, long time ago. Anyways, okay, that was the flip over thing. Let's do some quick pricing. Sum Sum, $5. The Lion Guard Mystery Pack, I would say $3. This Ugly Doll Mystery Pack, we're doing $3. The Flip -a Zoo thing, I don't know how much these are worth, to be honest, I don't remember how much I paid for them. I say the max you could give this is $3, like $2.99. I could see these going for $2.50, but we'll, we'll be nice and give it $3. And then the last time we have was our Rarity figure. I think that you could probably give this definitely five. Honestly, I think you could probably give this six. It's a really hefty little figure. I don't know exactly how much these ones cost. Sometimes um, my little pony toys or toys like this cost $10, but I don't think that this one is worth $10. I kind of eat my words a little bit because on Amazon it's going for $9.60. I don't know if they sell these at Target and how much that would go for. I think that I'd be comfortable getting this at most $7. I could see this going for $6.99. I have purchased a few toys for my god kids that are similar to this. Like when we say, okay, you can spend up to $5. And they always pick things like this. And you're like, ugh, that's not $5. Um, I'm going to give it 7 I feel like that might be pricing it high, but I really don't know for a fact. So I don't want to under or undervalue it too much. According to my pricing, this box is worth $21. So this one was a little bit short on the value depending on how much you give this this figure. Even if we were to give this $10, that would only add $3, which would make it $24. So still not as good as the mix mixture box, which is exciting except for I feel bad because obviously it's not available anymore. So, you know. Anyways, this must be the boys box. So once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. What did we get? What did we get? The first one we got was a pack of Tech Deck Dudes. So I guess this is a mystery pack and they're of little guys that are riding like skateboards. They're little Tech Decks. I'm not going to open this because I feel like I don't have a need for this or want. I don't think this is a pullback toy. I think that there's just a skateboard that you can like put them on and then move him. So it's like Okay, but it's not as cool as like a real tech deck. I would have definitely rather had a real tech deck. We got a Lion Guard. Apparently this is priced at $4.99 from Kohl's, but I think that's a little bit excessive. Um, this one is... This is either Bunga or Ono. No, take it back. I think this is Riri the dog. And I'm going to leave you in suspense because I'm... Is it the... It's not the, it's not the rare one, right? Wait a second. I think this might be the rare one. I don't want to open it because I already opened it. I don't, although I just like squished this whole package. Should I open it? Okay, I think it's either going to be the rare Copper Fully or the Battle Fully. I can't tell. I'm going to be disappointed if it's not either of those. But it's it's one of them. Oh no, maybe it's Roaring Keon. Oh my god, let's just open it. I can't. Ugh, dang it. It's Roaring Keon. I totally messed that one up. Darn it. It's because of the tail. The tail caught me off guard. This is still cool. I just messed it up. I'm upset that I completely guessed wrong. I got excited because of the whole, like, rare one. You stand next to Porg as well. All right. We got another flip -a -zoo, which is very cool. We got um, a Transformers, Titans, Returns, Autobot, Patero. See, there's actually, like, a little Autobot that you can put in the little thing, which is kind of cute. Like, there's the... You put him in the thing. <laughs> he can, like, drive the ship. So that's neat. A small little, small little toy, but that's cool. And then the last one we got is a Hot Wheels Starships. Um, this is Star Wars. It's Ski Speeder. Poe's Ski Speeder. 
I actually really like these little ships. I think I have the Millennium Falcon. I think I have an X-Wing fighter as well. So these are actually pretty cool. And there is a base that you can put it on. And these are die cast, of course. So Poe Ski Speeder. All right, let's do some quick pricing on that and see what we got. Um, we had this Transformers toy. I would say that this is probably only worth like $3, to be honest. It's a little bit small. The Star Wars Speed Ship, I would say this is definitely probably f at least $5, if not more, but we'll do $5. I kind of think that that might be lowballing it. What do you think? Let me see really quick on Amazon if they have these. They don't, but they're going online for about $7. I think that's actually pretty fair. So I'll do that. I'll do seven for that. We had the flip -a zoo I'm going to go ahead and give three. We had the Lion Guard. I'm going to go ahead and give three. And then we had the Tech Dex Dude. I don't think that this is worth three, but I'm going to give it three because it's a mystery pack, and that's about how much mystery packs cost. So according to my pricing, this box is worth, did I price that right? According to my price, this box is worth $19. That is disappointing. Ooh, not good. So this box costs $20, and it actually, I think, costs $21, to be honest, but, um, yeah, I think it is $21. So we're going to go based off of $20. So the boys' box got $19, the girls' box got $21, and then the mixture box got $26. So this month, the mixture box killed it. Last month, it actually was the worst, so... That's interesting. Um, here's what I'll say. The mixture box was my favorite. I actually loved all the items and I loved the value. I would give this box a five out of five noobs. That extra value is totally legitimate for this price point and I think that it had a lot of really great items. Um, it makes me upset that this box isn't available so I'm going to take that out of the running but that gets a five out of five noobs. The boys box was disappointing to me to be honest. Uh, I actually wasn't a huge fan of all the items in it and the value was really lacking. I would probably give this box specifically, I would say probably a 2.75 out of 5 noobs. I don't like that it didn't hit its value, and I feel like the items could have been a little bit better. They It just seemed a little bit skimpy on that one. The girls' box hit its exact value with no extra value. Um, I didn't mind the items. I actually like the items. I think they're pretty cool. Um, I would probably give this box maybe a 3.75 out of 5 noobs. I do like that we got this figure because I've never seen this before so it was cool to get something new but the box wasn't overly exciting and it was lacking all of his extra value so I would say 3.75 out of 5 noobs for the girls box. Alright guys that is all I have in this video thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video feel free to click the like button below if you want to see more unboxing videos go ahead and check out my channel I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about these boxes which one was your favorite between the mixture girls and boys and what are your thoughts about the value versus the types of items that you get. Let me know all of your fun thoughts down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page. I feel like I have boogers coming up, no, sorry. Which is coming up right now or shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. You guys, I just feel like I do so many video shout outs that I really honestly cannot keep track of who already of who I've already given video shoutouts to, so I think I might just, I'm just gonna go for it. Like when I see a good comment, I'm just gonna say it, and if you already got the video shout, you get another one, and if you haven't, then you get your first one, so that's great. Which means, I already know I've given you a video shout out, but I loved your comment, it was, <laughs> it made me LOL. Um, Sydney Softa, you have been with me for a very, very long time, and I wanna give you the video shout out. Um, I really enjoyed your comment, it made me, it made me like LOL. Cause I was like, what, have I really not given her a video shout out before. Um, but Sydney Softa, thank you so much for watching, commenting, supporting my channel. Thank you so much for sticking with me, supporting me for however long you've been here. I f you've been around for a really long time, so I really truly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so, so much. And because of that, I want to give you the video shout out. So shout out to you, Sydney Softa. Shout out to you. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.